Hello again, this is Rob Detmering, Humanities Librarian. This is the second of two videos addressing strategies for research in your English 102 course. In the previous video, we talked about Google and Google Scholar, focusing in particular on the challenges associated with finding scholarly sources on new popular culture artifacts. In this video, we'll continue that discussion focusing on library databases. So here we are on the library homepage, library.louisville.edu, which is your portal to all the library's online resources. If you're off campus, you can access these resources just the same as if you were on campus, but you'll need to use the off-campus login at the top right. You'll use your ULink ID and password to log in. Why do you have to log in? These are subscription resources that are not available to the general public. Your tuition dollars contribute to paying for these databases, which provide access to the highest quality and most credible academic scholarship. The library subscribes to more than 200 databases, some of which cover general materials across all subject areas, and others which cover a more specific subject area, such as history or psychology or political science. You can find the name of a database on our A to Z alphabetical listing if you know what you're looking for. A lot of students like the JSTOR Scholarly Journal Database because it has full-text journal articles across all subject areas. So I can easily click the A to Z list and find JSTOR by navigating to the letter J. But often when starting your research, you won't know which databases are the best for your topic, so I recommend you click on Subject Guides. The Subject Guides are essentially lists of recommended databases for research in specific subject areas. So one thing you'll want to consider is what kind of researchers might be interested in your topic. For instance, if I was researching the use of social media in political campaigns, I might choose communication studies or political science, because those fields would both be interested in my topic. In our case, we don't have a specific pop culture research guide, but communication studies, film studies, music, and humanities would be good starting points depending on the type of pop culture. For example, the Film Studies Guide has databases such as Film and Television Literature Index that could be helpful for me in researching my topic, the Richard Stanley film, The Color of Space. That said, you also have the option of selecting our Any Topic Guide, which is exactly what it sounds like. Here you will find databases that are good starting points for research on just about any topic. Notice we see JSTOR here, which I mentioned earlier, as well as databases such as EBSCO Academic and ProQuest Direct which includes scholarly articles, newspaper articles, and magazine articles across a wide range of subjects. When you hover over a database, you can see what kind of content it includes. Remember that these databases mostly include articles that are not freely available online, peer-reviewed sources and other sources useful for academic research. Today I'm going to show you an example search in EBSCO Academic because it's one of the best and most user-friendly databases for English 102 research. However, keep in mind that most of what you learn about one database will transfer over to other databases. They may have different interfaces and different content, but the basic approach to searching is generally going to be the same. Just as a reminder, if I were off campus, I would be asked to enter my ULink ID and password before the database would open up. What you'll immediately notice about a database like EBSCO Academic is that the search screen has a lot more options than Google. I have several search boxes and multiple options to make my search more precise. I can search for specific kinds of documents, including scholarly peer-reviewed articles, among other options. Let's try a search for articles about Richard Stanley's recent film, The Color Out of Space. I'm going to put my search terms in separate search boxes connected with the word and. This means that I'm looking for articles that mention both the title of the film and the name of the director. As you can see, we get just four results here, all published in 2020, and all published in magazines such as Entertainment Weekly and Sight and Sound. Note how the icon next to each article says periodical, which is essentially EBSCO speak or librarian speak for a magazine. So these articles may be helpful, but I'm running into the same problem I had with Google, which is that none of these sources are scholarly or peer-reviewed. This means I have to think creatively again, so what if we try to search for the color out of space and Lovecraft? In other words, let's see if we can find anything scholarly on the Lovecraft story that was the basis for the movie. Okay, we retrieved four articles again, but this time two of them are scholarly sources, so that's an improvement. You can see that EBSCO uses the icon and the phrase academic journal to indicate that a source is scholarly or peer-reviewed. Essentially, these terms all mean the same thing, academic sources reviewed by experts prior to publication. 
but two articles is still relatively sparse, so let's try to expand the search even more. What if we tried to find academic sources on other films that are connected to H.P. Lovecraft? Let's remove the color out of space from our search and replace it with something more generic like film. And you'll see that EBSCO suggests searching film or movie or motion picture or cinema so that I catch all references to movies regardless of which word is used. Okay, so now I'm up to more than 20 results, and if I look over to the left, I can see the breakdown on the types of sources in my search. Five are from academic journals, so I'm gradually increasing the number of academic sources I'm finding that could be relevant to my research topic. And I could use the menu on the left to narrow down to just those five sources if I wanted. So let's do one more search to expand the search one more level. Instead of searching Lovecraft, let's try searching one of the key plot points or themes from the film, Alien Invasion. So here we're searching for articles about films that involve an alien invasion. The search gives us more than 80 results, with 13 academic journal articles. This is the largest number of academic articles we've seen yet. Now, a few things to consider here. First, these articles may not be about the Color Out of Space movie, or Richard Stanley, or even H.P. Lovecraft, but they are about other movies that deal with alien invasions. This means they could very well speak to the themes in the movie I'm researching. They will help me understand how movies about aliens can be analyzed or interpreted. They can help me figure out what some key themes or ideas might be to assist me in formulating my own analysis and argument about the color out of space. Second, this is just one example of how to approach this. Perhaps I could have looked for research on other themes in the film, such as family or gender. Perhaps I could have looked for articles about earlier films by Richard Stanley to get a better sense of his past work. We're also searching in just one database, and as we saw earlier, there are many different databases that I could search to look for additional articles. The key point is that even though there is no scholarship directly about the new film The Color Out of Space, there is still a way for me to draw on existing scholarship to develop my perspective. To close this video, I want to note just a few more things about searching EBSCO in similar library databases. When you click on the title of an article, you'll get more information about it, including an abstract or summary that can help you decide if the article is relevant. You'll also see options on the right side to send the article to yourself in an email, or save it to your computer, or keep track of it in other ways. On the left side, you'll see options for accessing the full text of the article. In the best case scenario, you'll have a PDF that you can open and save immediately. In other cases, you will need to see if the full article is available in one of our other databases because not all articles live on the same platform. In this situation, you'll click the Find It at U of L icon and navigate through the screens to locate the article. If you don't see any options to access the article, you can request it through a free service called Interlibrary Loan using your ULink ID and password. Interlibrary Loan allows you to obtain items that we don't happen to own in our library system and get them sent to you electronically. This process usually just takes a few working days, but plan ahead to make sure you can get the sources you need in time for your project deadline. This is a, there is a lot more we could say about library databases, but these videos should get you started on the right track. If you ever have any questions about using databases, finding sources, or anything at all research related, please know that librarians are available to assist you through online appointments or by phone, chat, or email. You can find more about these options on our Ask a Librarian page at library.louisville.edu. Thanks, and good luck with your English 102 research.